In this video, we are going to solve quadratic equation by factoring. Our first example is x squared plus 2x is equals to 3. So the first step is to make sure that the given quadratic equation is in standard form. x squared plus 2x is equals to 3 is not in standard form. So to make this in standard form, we have to remove the 3 on the right side. All the terms must be on the left side. So we have to subtract 3 on the right side and subtract 3 on the left side. This will then give us x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals to 3 minus 3 is 0. After making the quadratic equation in standard form, we are going to factor the quadratic equation. In my previous videos, I have taught you, I have showed you how to factor quadratic equations wherein a is not equal to 1. I mean, where a is equal to 1. Because this given quadratic equation, a is equal to 1. So, you have to identify what is your a, b, and c. Our a here is 1, our, our b is 2, and our c is equals to negative 3. Now, you have to think of two numbers that when you multiply, you'll get the, and the product of negative 3, and then with the same number, you'll get the sum of 2, which is the b. So that will be, the two numbers will be 3 times negative 1. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. And then 3 minus 1 is equals to 2. So again, all you have to do is factor, use the two numbers, that is positive 3 and negative 1. And then you apply the zero product property. S applying zero proper product property simply means you equate the two factors to zero. So we, were, we are going to have two equations because we are going to get two values of excess. Remember, quadratic equations has two roots or two solutions or they have two values of x so the first factor we have x plus 3 equals to 0 and then the other one is x minus 1 equals to 0 now we can now va find the value of x so to do that Let's do the first equation first. The x plus 3 is equal to 0. Subtract 3 to both sides to eliminate the positive 3 on the left side. So this becomes 0. So x is equal to 0 minus 3 is negative 3. And then let us uh, solve the other equation, x minus 1 is equal to 0. So to eliminate negative 1 on the left side, we have to add 1 to both sides. So this becomes x, since this becomes 0, is equal to 0 plus 1 is 1. So the two values or the two solutions of x squared plus 2x is equal to 3 is x is equal to negative 3 and x is equal to 1. So let us check if we have the right answer. So you simply, you simply plug in the values to the equation. Substitute the values of x's. So let us use first the negative 3. So this becomes negative 3 squared plus 2 times negative 3 is equals to 3. Negative 3 squared is 9. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 equals to 
3. 9 minus 6 is 3 equals to 3. So they are equal. Therefore, x is equals to negative 3 is correct. How about x is equals to 1? Again, we use the quadratic equation, the given quadratic equation, x squared plus 2x is equals to 3. We just substitute 1 to the x. So this becomes 1 squared plus 2 times 1 is equals to 3. 1 squared is 1. 2 times 1 is 2 equals to 3. 1 plus 2 is 3 equals to 3. 3 is equals to 3. Therefore, x is equals to 1 is the correct answer. Here's another example. Given quadratic equation 2x squared plus x minus 1 equals to 0. So the given quadratic equation is already in standard form. So there's no need to change the given equation. Next step is let us factor this. So notice that the given quadratic equation, the a is not equal to 1. In my previous videos, you can watch again. The way to solve this, to factor quadratic equation where a is not equal to 1, is to identify first what is your a, what is your b, and what is your c. So our a is 2, our b is 1, and our c is negative 1. Next is you multiply a times c, which will give you 2 times negative 1, that is equals to negative 2. Now, you think of two numbers or the factors of negative 2, wherein you will get the sum of the b, which is 1. So those two numbers will be positive 2 and negative 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. 2 minus 1 is equals to 1. Now we use these two numbers to the equation. We just rewrite the middle term or the linear term of the quadratic equation. So this becomes 2x squared. Instead of putting x, we will use the two numbers. That will be plus 2x minus x and then we write the constant term negative 1 equals to 0. Now we group this. Okay. So the common term for this 2 2x squared plus 2x is 2x. Factor that, this becomes x plus 1. The common factor of negative x and negative 1 is negative. So this becomes x. To make this, this becomes plus 1 equals to 0. Again, we have the same terms inside the parenthesis. So that means that's the first factor x plus 1, and then you write the terms that are outside the parenthesis, that is 2x, and then negative, this means there's an invisible 1, so 2x minus 1 equals to 0. Now that you have factored the quadratic equation, you apply the zero product property wherein you equate the two factors to zero. So this becomes x plus 1 equals to zero. Another equation will be 2x minus 1 equals to zero. So let us solve first the first equation. x plus 1 equals to zero. So you subtract 1. To eliminate the positive 1 on the left side, this becomes 0. x is equals to negative 1. And then for this equation, first we have to eliminate the negative 1 on the left side so that you add 1 to both sides. So this becomes 
2x is equals to 1. Notice that there is still 2 beside x. So, for us to eliminate that, we have to divide both sides by 2. So, there we have x is equals to 1 half. So, let us check if we got the correct answer. Again, to check, you just substitute the values of x's. So, we, we are going to use first the negative 1. So, 2 times negative 1 squared plus negative 1 minus 1 equals to 0. So, 2, negative 1 is, negative 1 squared is 1, plus times negative is negative 1, minus 1 equals to 0. So, 2 times 1 is 2, negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2 equals to 0, 2 minus 2 is 0 equals to 0. Therefore, x, is equal, x equals to negative 1 is correct. Now, let us try x is equals to 1 half. Just plug in the values 2 times 1 half squared plus 1 half minus 1 equals to 0. 2, 1 half squared is you square the numerator and then you square the denominator. So, 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 half minus 1 equals to 0. So this becomes 1 and this becomes 2. So this is 1 half plus 1 half minus 1 equals to 0. 1 half plus 1 half is equals to 1 minus 1 equals to 0. 1 minus 1 is equals to 0, equals to 0. So they are equal, therefore x equals to negative 1, x equals to 1 half is also a solution of 2x squared plus x minus 1. So there you have it. I hope this will help you in answering your modules for week 1 in your math, in math 9. Thank you and, and have a good day.